This is National 5 Revision, and what we're looking at is uh, the use of the quadratic formula to solve uh, quadratic equations. And what we're doing is we're going to try and answer to two decimal places. So that's going to be key for us here. So remember that the quadratic formula is in your uh, formula list. So I'll just write it up at the top so that we know what we're actually working with. So what we've got is if we try to solve, it's going to be x is equal to, and it's a big fraction, and it's going to be negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, and that's all divided by 2a. Okay, so if I look at the first question that's here, I'm going to identify the a, b, and c values. So my a value here is equal to 1, my b value is equal to 2, and my c value is equal to negative 1. And it's always when we've got them in order from uh, x squared to x's to x to the power of 0, or just the basic numbers that we've got here. Okay, and then what we'll do is with an equal zero, that allows us to solve it and use the quadratic uh, formula. So I'm going to try and go reasonably quickly with these and try to solve them. You should free this video, see if you can uh, solve them at the moment, and uh, just follow the answers that, that I bring up here. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the x is equal to, and I'm going to just substitute my numbers into there, okay? So I've got that line, negative b, so it's negative 2, plus or minus, because I'm going to get two answers possibly coming out of that. B squared, so that's going to be 2 squared. And I've got take away 4 times A, which is 1, and C, which is negative 1. Okay, so and I've just got to be careful with the negative signs in this, because this is where often we see uh, mistakes. 2A on the bottom, 2 times 1 on the bottom, so 2 times 1 on the bottom. So if I tidy that up a bit, I've got negative 2 plus or minus square root of 4, and that's going to be plus 4, okay, if we see that. And that's all over 2, so what I've got here is negative 2, and that's going to be plus or minus the square root of 8 when I gather that together, and that's all over 2. So x is going to be equal to. So I'm going to bring the calculator in here. So what we'll do with the calculator, if you can see it, I'll just try and put it here. So what we've got is... Right, so I'm going to set up the fraction button first of all. Okay, fraction button. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a negative 2 in. So using that wee negative button that's up here, negative 2, okay, plus or minus. But I'm just going to put a plus in at that stage. I'm going to put a square root, and then I'm going to put 8 in. So 8's there. And at the bottom, I've got a 2. So there's my setup that I've got there. So if you can see that, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to press the equals button, and this is the positive plus the root. 8, and that's going to be minus 1 plus root 2. Press the SD button, and what I get out is a value that's there. So I'm going to round that just now for, I would usually write that number down, and then I would round it. But I'm limited with space here, so I'm going to write down the answer. That's going to be 0 0.41, and that's to two decimal places, as we've been asked. Now what I'm going to do in my calculator, I'm going to use the cursor, and I'm going to go back up to that positive sign that's there, and I'm going to delete it, press the delete button, and I'm going to change it to a subtract button that's there. Press equals, and what I should get again if I press the SD button is this answer here. So what we've got there is we've got, um, or that's going to be x equals negative 2.41. Okay, so there's my two solutions that are coming out of there. Okay, so just doing the rounding as we go along. Okay, first question done. Second one, right, so we've got a is equal to 1, b is equal to negative 5, and c is equal to 2. Okay, so I'm just picking the numbers from there. So x is equal to, so one line, so negative b, so I usually just write a negative, it is a negative 5, so that's going to give me a positive there, plus or minus the square root of b squared, so it's minus 5 squared, okay, so I've put it in a wee bracket there, and I'm going to take away 4 times a is 1, and c is 2, and it's all going to be over 2 times 1, okay? So from there, what I'll do is I'll uh, just sort some things out a bit. So that's going to be a 5 plus or minus the square root of, that's going to be 25 there, 25, and that's going to be take away 8, okay? All over 2. So what I can do is, into my calculator, I'm going to say that that's going to be 5 plus or minus the square root of, and that's going to be, is that 17 that we get there? So that's going to be 17 all over 2. 
So x is going to be equal to. So we're straight into the calculator. So what we'll do is I'll press the, uh, the fraction button. I'm going for 5 plus root 17. On the bottom, I'm going to put a 2 in. And then I'm going to put uh, an equal sign in. And what we'll do is I'll just get that there. So I'm going to round it to two decimal places. So it's going to be 4.56. And I would usually write the number down and then round it. Um, I've not done that this time. And then what I'm going to do is going to use the cursor, go back to the positive sign, take that away, replace it with a negative or take away sign, press the SD button, and that's going to be 0 0.4. And that will be 4 when we round that one up to there. OK, so there's my answers for that one. Thing to be really careful of is in these two, this one here of that negative sign, OK, to make sure that that negative and that negative make your positive. And in this one here, this part here is kind of key. And also that bit there is key as well, negative 5 squared. So it's not negative 25, it's actually a positive 25 that comes out of there. Let's look at this question here as well. So we've got a difference. We've got an A value of 2, we've got a B value of 8, and we've got a C value of 1. So X is going to be equal to, and it's going to be minus B, which is minus 8, plus or minus the square root of, and it's B squared, so that's going to be 8 squared, minus 4 a is 2 this time, and C is 1. I think it's quite often that A is going to be 1 when we work on these, so you just got to be careful with that one. On the bottom, we've got 2 times A, okay, from the equation. And remember, A is equal to 2, so that's 2 times 2 that's there. Sorting this out, I've got negative 8 on the top, plus or minus the square root, so that will be 64, take away 8, all over 4. So that's going to give me minus 8, Plus or minus the square root of, and that's going to be 56, isn't it? 56 all over 4. So what we've got is x is going to be equal to. So into the calculator, calculator button, uh, sorry, fraction button, uh, negative 8. So I'm using that negative sign that's up here, uh, negative 8. And I'm going to add on root, root 56, down to the bottom of the cursor. It's going to be a 4 this time, press equals, OK? Press the SD button to get uh, a, digital, uh, a decimal number out. So that's going to be negative 0 point. And what we've got is a 9 before the 2. So that's going to round up to a 3. So it's uh, 1, 3, OK? Negative 0 0.13. Um, and my other solution is going to be, just when I go back using the cursor, I'm going to change that there to a negative sign instead of a positive sign. And here we go. We've got our final answer here. So that's going to be minus 3.8. 87 and that's to two decimal places okay and that's my final answers um i think i'll leave it at that so that's that's enough kind of work for uh, for these questions so you know how to go about it um you know how to, to get things uh, going from there remember if you get a if you get a, a negative number inside the square root you'll have no solution coming out of that one so that'd be a no solution would have to be stated um, so that's all I'm going to do for question 33. You try the other questions. Uh, the only difference is with uh, question F, we just need to rearrange that. Um, so we rearrange it, make sure it equals zero, and then we can go ahead and solve it. So that's three questions that we've done with the, um, with the quadratic formula to try to solve quadratic equations. Remember the answers, give them to the decimal places that are rounded. Don't want to lose these marks uh, in your exam. OK, so good luck with all your revision up until your uh, January and February assessments.